How to Eat to Live, Book 2, by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Chapter 41, Cook Thoroughly Done. Milk and bread are our best foods. Milk is our first food. Bread is next. Man has been drinking milk continuously throughout his life from cows, sheep, goats, camels, and buffalo. Since we still crave for this food and drink it, for after leaving our mother's breasts, we go to the breast of cattle, the balance of our lives. We should raise these cattle under the most protected eye for their good health. The pure milk fat that we call butter should not be mixed with vegetable fats. It should be eaten without mixing it like grandmother and grandfather ate it. Substitute foods are destroying a great percentage of good health. Pure wheat makes the best bread. Having the knowledge that bread is easy to digest, we must remember that to get the best results out of wheat bread, we must cook it thoroughly done. This is to prevent it from doing too much rising, which will cause the stretching of the stomach and other intestines. Brown the bread deep as possible to a color of deep brown Do not make your rolls and loaves too thick. Make them thin so that the dough can be cooked and browned through and through. If not able to cook it thoroughly due to its thickness, cook it a second time by the same process that you did at first. Add yeast a little more than the first time. Milk and water to the bread. Stir it and let it sit and sour again. Let it rise good. Knead it and then put it back into the oven to cook a second time. This second cooking double prepares it for digestion in our stomachs. Cooking the bread a third or fourth time makes it still better. We kill ourselves in the way we prepare our food. We are too hasty in the preparation of our food. Some of the freshly baked white bread is fancy to the eyes, but it will not do you a fancy good. It will shorten your life and soon kill you. Take plenty of time to prepare your food the right way for cooking and then cook it right, not in a haste. Think about the order of hot biscuits. This is a foolish way of looking at and taking bread for the stomach, fresh, soon as it comes out of the oven. No bread cooked the first day should be eaten that same day. You should wait a couple of days before eating it. There's no such thing as stale bread. Get away from this belief. The older the bread, the better it is for your life. The little molds on the bread are not poison. Brush it off and eat the bread And if you eat some of the mold, it will not harm you. Back 50, 60, or more years ago, when people did not take time to prepare their bread right, many did not use yeast. They used a kind of baking powder. They were made sick time and again from the hasty preparation and eating of this bread. Many of our people fry dough 
on top of the stove, pancake, slang, flapjacks. This bread, which you put in your stomachs to be digested, is hardly done. If you could look at it working in the stomach, it would look as raw as it did before you put it on the stove. This is hard work on the digestive system. Please cook your bread thoroughly done. Whatever bread you eat, never eat it freshly cooked, i.e. the same day that it is cooked. If you toast today's bread, you should let it brown to a deep color, almost a burn, so that it will be easily digested. Purchase the books, CDs, and DVDs of the life-giving teachings at store.finalcall.com. Listen to the messages of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan 24-7 at finalcallradio.com. Watch the Nation of Islam's weekly and live broadcasts at NOI.org.